Got him. Got him. What is going on guys? Back out here with another video. Guys, today we are at Milford Lake. This is day three of my three day fishing excursion. First day, went to Canopolis, absolutely skunked. Lake, lake was too shallow. Yesterday, went out to Ottawa State Lake, got a few dink taps, but got skunked. Came back out here yesterday afternoon with Malcolm uh, at Pure Catfish and got skunked. So today we are out here, it's Sunday morning, it's like 19 degrees out. I actually just got bit before filming this intro. Uh, he didn't stick with it for very long, but fishing. It's a little inlet right here. A uh, ton of bait I've seen flip in, a lot of seagulls diving. So typically where the bait is at is where the fish are going to be. So hopefully that bite was a good sign to what's going to come today. I'm crossing my fingers, but got live, live shad. I got cut shad for bait frozen. I'm trying to get rid of my old shad. I do have some fresh ur shad. I'm going to throw, I'm going to let these bait, baits soak for about 30 minutes, maybe a little less and then swap them out. But plenty of bait. Probably going to toss around a jig and a swim bait just to see. Like I said, there's a ton of bait swimming around here. So enough of me talking. Let's get after it. Got him. Got him. Oh, what's going on? Oh, what's going on? Oh, what's going on? I don't know what's going on. I got pole on the ground. What is going on, people? Damn, he got bit too. Oh, he's all wrapped in it. Oh, it's nice to catch a fish. He's all wrapped in it. He's all wrapped in it. <sighs> all right, guys. <laughs> we got a fish. Oh, he's cold. He's all wrapped up in it. Look at how that fish is wrapped up in that line. Oh, there we go. All right, y'all. Little blue. Sorry about the low light. It's going to be about probably 10 minutes before it gets light enough to see, but. Little blue cat, I am keeping a few today, so if I can find my stringer, I'm gonna set him back, find my stringer, and then we'll get in our bait out. All right, y'all, so that fish came on a Santee Cooper rig. So how the Santee Cooper rig works, you got your weight, which I have three ounces of weight, to a sinker slide, my bead, down to my swivel, 50 pound leader to a peg float, now, I believe this is a six aught uh, laser sharp octopus hook. Now, a lot of times I, uh, actually he came on a body chunk. A lot of times I uh, use circle hooks for blues, but when I keep, I usually switch to uh, octopus or J hooks just because I don't really care if we're going to swallow it because I'm going to eat them anyway and get my hook back later so if i remember that's a bite
Emma. I think he's swimming with it. Yep, he was swimming with it. He was swimming with it. He's not big at all. So I'm swimming with it. Okay, he just he just got bigger. Nope, he's a little guy. He's a little guy. About to move my other rod. That's looking like the spot. There we go. Another eater blue. Love to see it. Please don't need the pliers. Oh, cool. Eater size blue. Since I'm already down here, make my way under this line. I'm gonna have to move that line here in a sec. If they're gonna be biting in this cove. And give him a friend. All right, time back off to my rock. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. It's right in the shin. Oh my God. Oh, that hurt. Oh, ho, ho, my goodness. It's taking every fiber of my being not to say curse words right now. Oh my the shin. Whew, right in the shin meat. Got him. Got him. Got him. Knocked my camera down, but I got him. This feels like a decent fit. This feels like a decent one. Because it is a decent one. That's a pretty good fish. Now he's getting smaller. I think he's starting to get ground shrinkage. Yeah, he's getting ground shrinkage. Definitely getting ground shrinkage. Yep, ground shrinkage. He might be bigger than that first one. Come on, little square dude. You were hooked in a bad spot. Cool. Three, like three fish in 15 minutes. I'll take that. I just happened to look over and see this rod starting to fold over. Uh, pliers. Ugh. He even gave me my bait back. How nice of him. Make sure this thing's on. All right, y'all. They're a little blue. I think he's a keeper. I'm going to put him on the board, measure him, and see if I'll be taking home a third. All right, let's see. Yeah, he'll go, make sure he's all the way at the front. He'll go a hair under 23, a hair under 23. But there you have it. 
They're eater blue and he is cold. He's gonna get eaten. All right, y'all, judging by my camera, I've been here for 20 minutes now. Three fish in 20 minutes. I will take that compared to the two days of absolutely nothing. All the ice that has formed while I was gone. Hear all that ice? <laughs> All right, y'all, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but usually I ration bait as best I can because I don't really have it. But today I have plenty of bait, so we're going to throw that piece away. He was nice enough to give me back, and we're going to throw another piece on. Throw a shad body chunk. This is a yeet, the yeet of all yeets. I'm actually gonna move this rod a little more left than what it was. The ice, god dang ice. That was not a yeet, I'm glad I didn't lose my bait. We'll try again, this time with better results. Much better results. Got him. <laughs> Dang. Malcolm, where are you at? <laughs> I can't tell if he's on the, in the rocks. He is rolling. There we go. That's the biggest one of the day, right there. Biggest one of the day. Come on. There you go, guys. That's the biggest one of the day. He might not keep, actually. Which I was hoping not. I kind of want to catch a mythological giant today. But catching 10, 15 of these wouldn't be bad either. All right, y'all. Biggest one of the day. He might be bigger than 25. We're going to put him on the board and see, but... Tearing them up today in 18 degree weather. Oh yeah, he's definitely gonna go bigger. Yeah, he's gonna go, take off a half inch for the fish grip. He's gonna go 26 inches. So out here at Milford, there's a slot limit. You can keep fish outside of it. So fish between 25 and 40 inches you gotta throw back you can keep five fish with one fish being over 40 inches so 26 he's got to go back biggest one of the day talking to me i think he's telling y'all to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you so you can see him get caught again but thank you brother other way other way, other way, there he goes. Look how clear that water is. Boy, that was fun, let's do it again. Here's what I'm using, guys, frozen shad. 
Malcolm and I caught this actually a while ago. And I've taken care of it. So it's taking care of me. So how I cut my bait up, I cut in a chunk. So this fish is gonna give me three chunks. So cut the headpiece right behind the dorsal fin. I'm gonna cut right where his butt is. Next cut. Then I'm gonna cut this tail off. And there are my three chunks of shad. Now that fish, I think, hit a body chunk. I can't remember at this point. But I cut this body chunk a little big. Because if there's gonna be bigger fish moving in here, I'll give them a bait to eat. And I just hook right through the top. I've seen some people hook at the corner. Getting bit. Got him. Gosh. I'm trying to show y'all how to do this. I don't got a rod in the water right now. <laughs> Malcolm, where are you at, my man? Oh my gosh. Field day. How long have I been here? Almost 40 minutes. This will be number six five or six they're eater another eater another eater Ooh. there he is Oh, there are fish. I don't know if y'all can see. There's my shad head. You wanted the shad head. Uh, there you go, guys. Another blue. I don't got a rod in the water right now. <laughs> I don't know where my pliers are. There they are. I don't got a rod in the water. That's what you eat, shad head. Okay, my hands are freezing. I gotta start using this. Oh, my hands are cold. All right, y'all. Oh, he slapped my, got slime all on my camera. Anywho, there he be. Another eater size blue. I'll start calling here in a sec. Throw him on. Yeah, I got slime all on my camera. It's all wet. Uh, you're gonna get eaten first. Whoa, almost slipped. He would be number five today. Fifth fish today. Got him. Got him. Good Lord. Uh, that might be a good one. That might be a really good one. That might be the biggest one of the year. Got that, got that. Hopefully that doesn't run away. Ooh. Oh God. That might be my biggest blue of the year. I think there was one following him. I 
All right. Oh yeah. I was on that big bait. I was on that big bait. Oh, I got a mess. That's my biggest one of the year, guys. <laughs> Definitely biggest one of the year. <laughs> this thing working. There he is, guys. <laughs> That's going to be my biggest blue of the year right there. <laughs> Hell yes. Front camera just died. I think I'm getting... I'm getting bit. Couldn't tell if I was getting bit on that rod. I think I'm getting bit on that rod. Anyway, let's see him again. <laughs> Front camera died, so we're gonna have to do this from a distance. How big's he gonna go? Oh, he's definitely over 30 inches. We'll call him 31. Oh, one more time guys. There's my biggest blue of the year. Right before year's end, so I'm gonna call this a win today. <laughs> so let me go get him thrown back. Like I said, my front camera died, so I won't be able to get a release shot, but send him home. number seven today and <laughs> took a while for that one but oh, he's got a little parasite on him let me help you out buddy parasite off him but let's get him on the board he's up to measure I don't think he'll keep Oh no, not even close. He's gonna go 27 and three quarter. Ooh, excuse me. He'll go 27 and three quarter. Here and stuff. All right, guys. There's number seven today. Like I said, hopefully my camera doesn't die again. But let's go get him back. I can tell if I heard. Got him, let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. This might be my last eater. like that last fish he's he's on no not gonna lose two fish to that shelf he's on I feel him kicking 
Did it come out? Nope. I think he came out. Yep, he came out. He came out. Cool. Hope he broke my sinker off. Damn, dude, get out of those lines. No, he didn't break my sinker off, but whatever he was stuck on, I see it floating out there. There's a piece of wood. That will be my last one, I think. These have been cut before. There we go. That makes fifth keeper. Pretty sure he'll keep. I'll put him on the board. Talking to me. Dang, dude, you weren't coming off. Yep, he'll keep. All right, y'all. I think this blue here is going to do it for me today. Uh, I'm going to fish probably another 30 minutes just because I told myself I was going to leave at noon. So if I get another one, we'll have a bonus fish. But if not, guys, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and do me a favor, drop a like, helps out the channel. Uh, guys, when it's sheer cold like this, as you can see, the fish are still biting. You just got to find them. These blues, they follow the shad back into these coves. The water is warmer back here and the shad like it and where the shad go the big fish follow so next time you get out try back one of these coves hopefully you'll catch more fish and guys thanks for watching the bonus fish. God, that was a good takedown too. Oh, that was a good takedown.